Well, hello, hello to everybody and welcome. This is uh, Charles Richard and uh, I happen to be uh, in uh, Winter Park and uh, as I actually promised uh, you, uh, I wasn't able to actually uh, stream today at uh, 12 because uh, I had some errands that I had to do and I apologize for that and plus on top of that, uh, you know, 12 o'clock is a little bit uh, hard for me sometimes to be able to find a place that I can actually stream that will give me enough signal to be able to do a 4k signal you know and uh, 4k signal is really hard to find especially if you're streaming from different locations and although I do have my uh, 5g the ability to do a 5g stream from my cell phone I uh, did not do uh, today I did not use my cell phone to do a 5G and the reason for that is because I needed to show you also uh, how to set up your eCams uh, with the different type of signals and I wanted to be more in detail since this is about how to set up yourself for live streaming and so that you can comprehend a little bit more as to what it is that it takes and, and how to look at some of these numbers so that when you do stream so that uh, it doesn't stutter for you it doesn't do a whole bunch of different things you know that eventually and most probably uh, most people that don't have experience with streaming you know will end up seeing but before that you know uh, let me ask you you know if uh, this is the first time uh, that you come here as, oh, as a matter of fact there's something new that I want to tell you guys all right what's new to you guys all right for all of those that uh, don't know me first of all I'm Charles Richard uh, we are doing multi streams you guys have known that I do multi stream to Facebook YouTube and to twitch well we have added two more sites that is correct we have added two more uh, platforms and uh, they have started today and we're doing them uh, today so if you do find something uh, or you do see something in these two new platforms please hit me up and let me know uh, through uh, one of your comments uh, new today is we have added uh, Periscope which is part of Twitter all right that is their live streaming and we have also added VK which is uh, the equivalent of Facebook for the UK all right so we're streaming live in UK as well so we're streaming live on Facebook YouTube Twitch Periscope and VK that's five okay we've got five places that we're actually streaming and um, at a coffee shop like uh, we always do uh, you know and I'm going to show you uh, quickly you know some of the things you know that uh, we do here uh, so that you understand how to go about setting yourself and you know that sort of stuff but before that you know uh, let me ask you you know if you haven't subscribed please please you see there right there please subscribe to our channel you know so that uh, we can also grow and help you as you help us grow we can help you uh, with a lot of the uh, technical sections on uh, the technical side okay of how to set up yourself for live streaming and so anyways uh, again my name is Charles Richard welcome to our broadcast you know I've got a several you know several things that I do uh, to be able to bring you these uh, live streams uh, one of the things uh, that I do is I am completely and 100% uh, totally remote all right everything that I use I use a uh, remote microphone that you see right here okay that is my remote microphone and uh, I use a uh, Samsung uh, meteor so everything that you see here is stuff that uh, is able that, that you have the capabilities of getting and that is not expensive and it actually works well uh, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg I am streaming today in 4k okay I'm streaming today in 4k and my signals for my 4k are coming from my Samsung Note 10 Plus that's correct my Samsung Note 10 Plus uh, is has the, capa the capability to put a 4k signal all right so I am pushing a 4k signal at 30 frames per second and I am also pushing a 4k signal from uh, let me move my microphone a little bit here so I can show you let me just kind of bring it up to you from this little sucker right here okay you see it's hooked up right there okay I am actually uh, streaming a 4k signal all right from uh, let me put it back how it was uh, give me just one second okay and I am actually streaming a 4k signal from my Fuji XT2 
all right, with a 35 millimeter lens uh, through a new capture card. I do have a 1080, the uh, very inexpensive capture card, all right, but I have also a 4K capture card, and no, it is not Elgato, all right, uh, Elgato has a lot of issues and a lot of latency, and I'm going to talk about all that stuff and how it is that you want to set up and every single little thing that you put together when you put your whole system together to be able to do your live stream counts it has it, it will make an effect or it will affect whether your stream stutters or not all right so you have to take into consideration everything you just can't say oh well you know because i've got the fastest computer now my system is not going to stutter no all right if you might have a ten thousand dollar computer system and if you have the wrong cable hooked up to your camera from your camera all the way to your capture card that might be the cause of why your signal is stuttering but we're going to go through every single little step and i want to show you the basics all right we were going to continue with the basics of what uh we what is needed actually if you remember our first stream dealt with what is required by each platform obviously the only platforms that i covered was uh, youtube facebook and twitch because those were the only platforms that i was actually streaming at that time today i have just added Twitter, which is the same thing as Periscope. Periscope is the live broadcast through Twitter, all right? And uh, VK, you know, so welcome from Europe, from UK. Welcome, 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 welcome. I don't speak Ukrainian, all right? So if you speak English, you know, you're so welcome over here. You know, I do have a lot of friends over there in the UK. Uh, that I have met every time that they come over here and uh, they want to go to Disney they come and they ask me questions and uh, oh yeah I got a, a lot of history with the uh, Ukrainians uh, over there wonderful people as a matter of fact you know a couple of Ukrainian uh, girls actually made some of my videos and you can see probably here yeah that's right here on YouTube you can see some of the uh, Ukrainian girls okay that actually uh, spoke in Ukraine and one spoke in Russian uh, because uh, we were actually promoting a place called skeletons and you'll see it here in the YouTube channel if you just go down and uh, you'll see uh, my friends from uh, UK so hello and uh, some of them are still here and you know I just want to say hello to you all all right so with that said you know I want to try to be as clear and as simple you know so that when we do have these live streams or when you are setting yourself with these live streams I'm not going to try to make it too complicated because sometimes uh, although I can get very 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 in detail you know I, I don't think that the objective of this particular stream is to teach uh, those people that are just starting out like for example teachers that are going to go online for the first time uh, you know what is the best platform to to stream on uh, what is the best software and easiest software to set up uh, you know we're going to go through all these things so today uh, I want to talk to you about streaming software because your streaming software is actually I think will probably be the second most important thing that will determine what the equipment is that you are going to need to be able to stream you know for example if my my software for example I'm gonna use this as an, as an example if my software doesn't have the capability of streaming in 4k right why are you gonna buy a 4k camera right if that if if the 4k camera the only thing that you're gonna use that 4k camera is to stream now you, you know if you're gonna use that 4k camera to go and do you know personal videos and YouTube videos and other things <coughs> then yeah you know that's that's okay you know what I'm saying that's all right but you don't need it not to stream all right not if you're just gonna buy something to teach online classes you know what I'm saying so if you're just gonna use it for teaching online classes and that's your primary uh, goal okay and you don't need it and vice versa you know if uh, you want to stream in uh, let's say 4k all right and we're talking about 4k 30 frames per second uh, if you want to stream in 4k 30 frames per second and your platform doesn't support it for example Facebook doesn't support 4k the most they will support is 1080p 
So now, all right, you gotta think about all these things. You know what I'm saying? And but but obviously, you know, you're gonna need a platform to be able to use. Now, for teachers, all right, for teachers, the platform that is mostly used is Zoom. All right, Zoom because it has a lot of tools for classes and that gives you the ability to interact with the students and that's going to be our next okay that is actually going to be our next broadcast our next live broadcast and if you see somebody behind me you know that's because again i'm in a coffee shop you know they're placing their orders back there that's uh, one of the uh, uh remote order uh, order stations that you've got back there you know and so that's what we got okay so anyways uh, just to give you a heads up all right so anyways uh, zoom is a definite and awesome platform all right and that is the most uh, popular platform to be able to use for teachers that want to teach actually in for students all right uh, that one and uh, there's a couple of other ones all right there's really a couple of other ones uh, that we want to cover but um, we're gonna stick with zoom okay as a uh, show tomorrow and we're gonna teach you how to uh, put together the platform or in other words the streaming software not the platform but the streaming software that you want to use all right and once you select which streaming software you want to use how to set it up with zoom all right so we're going to cover that all right and uh well so uh, let's get started okay let's get started and uh let me take you uh well, let me take you kind of like so you can see uh what we've got here i am working with a very very simple and remote uh setup all right I don't have a ten thousand dollar computer i don't have a three thousand dollar computer and i'm not stuttering okay i'm not stuttering. i'm i'm streaming at 4k i'm not stuttering why because from my camera all the way to my cables all the way to my stream all right it has a fluid okay flow a a a connection all right that makes sense you know it's not changing from one codec to the next codec it's not trying to do compression it's not trying to do all kinds of crazy things all right from the moment that i set up my camera all the way to the end of my stream it is the same exact format so what i'm saying is if i'm going to stream at 1080 my cameras will be set at 1080 my cables will be able to hold 1080 my capture card will be able to hold 1080 my stream coming into the platform all right or into the streaming software will be 1080 my stream coming out of my streaming software will be 1080 and what i am receiving on the other end on my platform whether it be youtube twitch uh, whatever it is it's set up at 1080 all of that is important everything has got to match or otherwise you're gonna start getting stutters all right and why because you was do what's happening is that meanwhile you think you know that all of this is going to happen you know uh, uh yeah the computer is going to be very fast going to be able to do all these things you know eventually it's going to get the buffers are going to get caught up whether it is the buffers in the software or whether it is the buffer in the camera or whether it is the buffer on the uh platform that you decide to use it's going to get caught up and it's going to create stutters all right those stutters are more more likely to be caused by mismatching than by overheating let me say that again all right for all of those that think that they know okay your stutters are going to be caused by a mismatching all right more so than overheating all right overheating does not produce stutter until your cpu chip gets to a point that is over 140 150 degrees if your chip is running at 70 degrees 80 degrees 90 degrees it doesn't matter all right it's not going to stutter okay it's not hot enough to produce any kind of stutter right all this stuff that they get in your brain okay and you think oh yeah but it's because it's overheating oh yeah but because of no 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 what happens is that when you put that software all right when you put that software and let's say your chip is running at 70 uh let's say uh 70 degrees fahrenheit or 80 degrees fahrenheit or 90 degrees fahrenheit which is not hot enough for the actual chip to be able to cause a stutter 
what's happening is because your camera system because your cable because something is not right that causes your stutter right and because your fan quote unquote okay software that you have placed to be able to reduce the heat what it does it, it creates a minor okay delay which makes your your actual um your your actual deficiency okay that you have in your setup okay catch up to where you don't see a stutter but it is not because of the it's not because of the overheating all right and that's coming from an engineer's point of view that's not coming from uh you you know i think that i this is like this no this is an actual from an engineer points of view if your chip doesn't heat up there's no reason that you are going to be stuttering unless there is something that is not mismatched it could be maybe line conditioning all right light conditioning sometimes you know uh, causes stuttering you know and so there's a lot of variables that cause stuttering all right so uh, we're gonna cover that and I'm gonna prove to you all right that you know you don't need a three thousand dollar computer the first way that I'm proving is because you don't see me stuttering okay I'm not stuttering at all all right and I'm using a very inexpensive setup all right my setup is extremely inexpensive all right I'm using a MacBook Air 2019 with a T2 chip and I'm using the T2 chip because the software that I'm using is Geek Ecamm and it was optimized and it was written for this on this particular chip and for this particular chip to be able to take the best advantages of what you call uh, um, throughput okay a data right so that uh, it works seemingly all right so anyways uh, with that said let me take you to uh, my XT2 okay uh, this is the view that I'm gonna show you right here uh, let's see uh, did it show did it show what is it not doing here uh, okay uh, let me see what's it doing um, let me bring it back up and let me bring it back in so we can come in right and uh let me see if can you guys see it uh maybe not all right uh, okay let me put it back again and let me see what's it doing here uh, oh i know what it is okay when i moved the camera i disconnected my cable all right that's what it was there it is okay i disconnected my cable okay so here we go all right uh okay uh, you're seeing kind of like a uh, multiple view all right and uh, what you're seeing here is uh, because uh, let me see if i can get it this way uh, let's go this way here uh, put it on. okay let me see what, why is it doing this okay here we go all right okay so we are actually i'm gonna move the camera all right I want to move the camera here we go all right so I'm moving the camera all right and what you're seeing and I'm kind of uh, all right this is my setup I'm sh actually showing you my setup okay that you're seeing right here all right you're seeing my uh, MacBook Air okay as you can see right there all right and uh, this is my Samsung Note 10 all right and if I hit it over here twice okay you can see me there all right you can see me there okay that's a 4k camera all right and that 4k camera is actually facing me all right and uh, you can see my microphone there oops okay you can see my microphone there and i'm sorry if it's getting disconnected okay but the reason that it's getting disconnected all right is uh because uh the cable all right uh, is what it is all right and uh let's see here all right and uh let me bring it back up all right there we go okay and uh well, there we go all right so uh that the cable is is a little bit when you uh, uh move it around like i am moving it you know uh you see it uh, doing uh, all kinds of uh crazy crazy things because the connection is actually a loose connection all right so that's that's why you're seeing it like that all right so anyways uh the software that i am using all right is uh, ecamm now there's several softwares that you have the capability to select and to choose uh one of them is ecamm uh you have another one called obs <coughs> now ecamm 
is a software that only works for Mac okay it can only works for Mac and I just want to make sure that uh, you guys understand this uh, because Ecamm does not work for Windows. Uh, there is no way for it to work with Windows. They do not have a Windows version. So Ecamm, if you do choose the, uh, you know, to use the software Ecamm, you've got to have a Mac. Um, I recommend you to have Catalina, right? Uh, so, uh, and it is a paid program, all right? The program uh, runs $25 I think it's $25.99 if I'm not mistaken I think that's what I pay $25.99 per month right and uh, it allows you uh, to do little things like uh, for example if you want to put like uh, like let's say you have a chat and if you want to do like a chat you can just uh, click on your on your chat all right and let me see if I can get it to go okay there you go you can see right there uh, stream elements okay uh, on the bottom okay that is like your little chat and so if people are responding to your chat they come up right through there you know uh, that's how it works and you can take it out uh, so that's really <coughs> what uh, what is nice about stream and it's super easy to set up uh, compared to the other ones right the other ones are a little bit more harder to be able to set up they have their advantages but there's a lot of disadvantages to them <coughs> now uh, as well right um, the biggest disadvantage for this one here for this particular ecamm is that uh, let me show you uh, let me go to uh, my screen share and show you uh, the microphones I want to show you the microphones for a second uh, okay uh, so here you can see my microphones right now when I add my microphones on this particular software you can see the levels that you're looking at right there let me see if I can uh, yeah you can see my see these here are the levels okay but if I select here all right watch this I can select my microphones and these are the microphones that I have available the problem with these microphones that you see here all right is that that's the only thing that they give you all right so if you want to add compression you want to add uh, any kind of effect on your microphone uh, you don't have that capability all right it doesn't give you that capability now the audio for let's say if you have a movie okay you can select it here you can mute it there right these are your volume controls uh, you know your sound effects you know if you have your sound effects uh, you have sound effects let me uh, kind of uh, play you a sound effect so you can see it uh, live uh, let's say here's an applause you know so these things will get your children if you are teaching a, a grade school class you know you can get them all kinds of you know excitement and uh, you can use these little um, uh, sound effects um, yeah stuff like bike horn you know uh, you got you know DJ horn you know so th these are the uh, the thing that is nice about this particular program all right because this particular program allows you to do these sound effects you know your students become more interactive or whoever it is that you know uh, uh, you're live streaming for now obviously if you're doing this for business you know it's not a party you're not going to be uh, using these but some of these tools are necessary for some of you folks that are trying to do uh, live streaming for students this year <coughs> so, excuse me now with that said okay the problem like I was saying okay the problem with this particular program is that in the audio side of the program you're limited all right so if you don't have a uh, microphone that gives you a uh, solid signal my signal is nice and hot I like it nice and hot because since I don't have compression and I don't have other things I want to be ma I want to make sure that I have that uh, capability of clarity so that you folks can hear me this is why my signal that you see I've got it set up if you can see it over here is at 87 you know I can move it a little bit further but that's gonna be a little bit too much I think like you know between 80 85 87 is good to be able to get a nice uh, solid signal from you folks right okay so uh, with that said let me show you a little bit more around the software all right um, what you do is I'm going to go to uh, my scene I'm gonna bring you my scenes okay 
uh, let me see where is my scenes okay let's go to my scenes all right okay here we go these are my scenes right here all right so i've created for example a countdown and intro you know my camera one my subscribe so you create these little scenes all right and by you creating these little scenes every time you click right here right then that particular scene comes to play right so i'm gonna click right here and watch what happens okay see and so it actually triggered my camera all right uh you know so my scene comes into play and this is what what you see because this is how my scene is set up all right if i go back to my screen share all right you can see my different scenes here you see that all right now which each of these scenes that you see here when you create the scene you create what is called an overlay so and and this is ecamm folks all right this is ecamm uh and ecamm uh, allows you to do all these uh great things you know this is the the best part about ecamm so if i go to ecamm and if uh let's say i want to uh let me show my overlays all right so if i show you my overlays okay i'm gonna go and i'm gonna show you my overlays uh okay this here's my overlays okay so you see there okay i've got two overlays up in here so with these two overlays that you see right here all right see how i got them hidden okay if i unhide them okay there it is it goes back into play all right if i unhide it here it goes back into play you see all right so if i were to go to another scene or if i wanted to add something to it right i would add it here all right so if i want to add uh let's say the name of the class right okay i can go here i can go to text okay it brings me a text window all right and uh let me see i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this i don't think you're gonna be able to see this because i've got it on my overlay and the only thing you're seeing is my overlay so let me see if i go to uh demo uh give me a second let me all right let me go here let me bring it to live demo here we go all right so you should be able to see everything uh let me see if i go here uh, okay entire screen all right let's go entire screen all right so you can see my entire screen here right okay so here all right uh you can see uh where was it okay so we're going to add th this is my overlay right here okay I don't, I don't know can you guys see this i'm not really sure if you guys can see this uh maybe not I'll try this one more time hold on a second uh, no let's try this okay let me know if you guys can see this okay i hope that you guys can see it i i don't know and i won't know until i actually see it myself all right so okay so if i go to live demo right when i go up here um i can add my text okay by going to my overlays i can add a text it's going to scroll down and i can put uh, uh welcome uh, welcome to class all right all right so when you add it i'm going to add it here all right just so you guys can see this all right okay see see how i added it okay and i can move it okay i can enlarge it by enlarging it here I hope you guys can see this i really do hope that you guys can see this all right so you're able to do all these things all right in your ecamm software and you can do this also with obs and with vmix the only main difference between actually between ecamm obs and vmix is that it has this particular uh, thing here uh which you can see here all right this is where uh if somebody is chatting to you or they're trying to text to you your text will come up here all right that is uh uh the difference in other words let me let me kind of explain it a little bit better okay this here right will be an individual's chat all right so you can pull up like let's say if you have a student named john and you click on john okay whatever john is saying will be written right here on the other software on all other software what happens is you can see what your whole class okay what your whole chats okay are actually saying it doesn't 
actually pinpoint one at a time you can see all of them or you don't see any of them at all you know depending on how uh, how you set it up all right so this software is easy to set up okay this software is very easy to set up you can see here that I am streaming in uh, uh, a live stream and you can see uh, that I've been streaming for 33 minutes and 30 seconds and you can see uh, my levels over here okay you can move all this around uh, if you want to uh, let's say customize it a little bit further <coughs> excuse me you can customize it by clicking on here all right and then uh, if I want to do my background a different color I can come up here all right and I can do my background see right here this is the background all right so I click here okay this is my background I want to do a red background I can do a red background orange background uh, just move your uh, uh, the house over here to it's kind of like pinkish right now but if I make it red see you can make it red and if I save it okay uh, it's gonna change it to red so you can do all kinds of nice little things it is the same way with OBS it is the same way with uh, vmix it is the same way with XSplit you know all these softwares have these capabilities the difference is in the simplicity okay or how easy it is for you to actually uh, set up your stream with Ecamm but there is a drawback and the drawback is that it is a paid subscription now is it better than OBS not at all not at all let me rephrase that again is it better than OBS not at all why because Ecamm to begin with all right uh, their support is terrible I'm gonna tell you that right now their support is terrible so if you are down if you have any sort of downtime then you have to send them an email and they will get back to you all right so imagine that you're paying a certain amount of money per month and you're for whatever reason okay because you are not a technical person okay for whatever reason now you cannot uh, get your stream your, the streaming software Ecamm to work properly and you need to try to get a hold of somebody because you have a class in 30 minutes right well you're not gonna get anybody online all right so you're either gonna find uh, yourself uh, in a di in a situation where uh, you're gonna find a, you're gonna have to find a different way to be able to do that stream, um, or you know um, you're gonna have to solve it yourself, you know, or, or wait till they or actually wait till they uh, uh, respond back to your email. It's horrible, okay? They are horrible in this sense. All right, for a paid subscription, you would think that a paid subscription would have some sort of a of a support especially if you're using it for commercial use for classrooms for uh, web meetings you know for that sort of stuff you know